Hello everyone, welcome to Praise the Run. I'm Mr. Ben Show, aka Ben Lucky. This is Patrick McKinstry. Hey, I'm Patrick McKinstry. I'm <laughs> Patrick, aka okay, okay. Later Dead. Um, it's episode 20. That's that's the other thing. Uh, what else? What else? How, do, how else do I open this show? I just woke up. Um, yeah. And Patrick just got home from work. Uh, yeah, oh my god. My allergies are bothering me. It's so. nuts today, yeah. It's it's kind of humid, too, so it's just, like, floating everywhere. All yeah. The, all the gross. Thankfully, the house is a lot cooler today than what it has been. Mm. But it's been... Today's been gross. I, I keep blowing my nose, and it's just, like, filled with yellow shit. Yeah. Mm. I don't know. Allergies are not my friend. I've always had horrible allergies. Um... Patrick, this was a slow week today. We don't really have a lot of anything. There wasn't, yeah, there wasn't a lot happening. I mean, I can't even think of any, nothing that I've even been playing. All of their updates have pretty much been, been updated. I'm waiting for the main updates of some games, but nothing like, <coughs> nothing recent. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I I didn't play much games this week. I didn't even go see Barbie. I said I was going to go see Barbie like you did. Um, I didn't see Barbie, so the Barbie oh, yeah. review will have to wait. Word. Um, time just, like, passed me by this week. It was a quick week, dude. Like, yeah. I feel like we just did this yesterday, and it was literally a week ago. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it was so fast. It, it was a, a weird <clears throat> week. Um, yeah, I definitely feel like I time traveled. And news wise, like like I said, not much happened. Um, the we're gonna talk about some EA earnings calls, which is why I brought uh, the E three EA conference up. One yeah. of them, I think it was twenty sixteen or whatever. <laughs> Our first news story of the day is EA has achieved record Q one financial results. Um, this is on VGC, uh, this is Chris Scullion from VGC, or Video Games Chronicle. EA says its first quarter financial results for its current physical year were its highest ever. The company's net bookings for the first quarter were $1.57 billion, up 21% compared to the same period in the previous financial year. Net bookings covered the amount of products and service sold, and services sold digitally, or sold in physically, um, I say, or sold in physically, and includes not ga- not just game sales, but other income, including licensing fees, merchandise, and game ads. Um, according to EA, the main reason for the record-breaking period were the con- continuation pro- or continuation. Why does it? S- Video Games Chronicle, just like, I don't know, you know, make sure these sentences read. <laughs> Continuing, it, it, but it's like, does that look right to you? Does continuing look like that normally? <laughs> Where at? Right there. Continue. <clears throat> no, a. they put like a whole, no, there's way too many vowels in that word. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a, that's just misspelled. You're fine. Okay. <laughs> Popularity <laughs> of FIFA 23 and the release of Star Wars. Um, FIFA Ultimate Team engaged tens of millions of fans. Daily average users grow 15%. FIFA Mobile attracted over 65 million new players in this quarter alone. Mm-hmm. FIFA Online produced double digital growth across monthly, weekly, and daily average users. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, we're getting a lot of FIFA selling well. Um, yeah. well, yeah. Especially <clears throat> because of. That's a given, though. This is the last year of FIFA. The last FIFA that came out, um, they had, over the last quarter, they announced the new, uh, EAFC, which is the football club game that they're doing because they lost the FIFA license. Uh, um, huh. I mean, it wasn't that they lost it. It wasn't like FIFA like took it away from them or like anything. Uh, EA didn't want to renew the contract because FIFA was asking for like almost double of what they normally would. Oh, wow. Um, and EA was like, nah, we're good. 
Uh, so FIFA's like, fine, we're going to go make our own game. And EA is like, well, we're just going to go make our game without you. Right. Um, just call it something else. But yeah. It'll still be <coughs> Yeah. FIFA. Yeah, it'll still, it'll still be its thing. Um, and it seems like a lot of the leagues are f- want to still be in it. So, right. like... Why not? I mean, yeah. Of course. It's going to be every big league besides FIFA, you know? Yeah. Um... Star Wars, of course, is a juggernaut. I don't know what are we at on this new Star Wars game, uh, Jedi. For a second, I thought you were going to say Star Wars was going to be in the soccer game. Oh, no, no. Which would be incredible. Jedi but... Survivor came out this year. <laughs> but yes, that would be incredible if you're like force pushing soccer That would be crazy, balls. yeah. It'd be like that, uh... What's that? funny soccer movie where they have like ninja powers and they're like oh i don't even remember dude i don't know it's forever ago but it was great <laughs> it's very funny um there's no unit sold uh spending on game hardware this is as of may video games chronicle I just had it in the little summary of the article. Total U.S. consumer spending on game hardware content and accessories in April was down over. And that was just April's thing. So it looks like we don't have a... Uh, how many units sold for Jedi Survivor yet? Hmm. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, which is another story that we're about to talk about. But yeah, I, th- I thought we would have had that by now. Especially since the game's been out for a couple of months. We would have at least had a... You know, they like to be like, Oh, the S- Star Wars sold one million units in right. its first weekend or you whatever. Think, like yeah, that. you think they'd have some sort of something yeah no, but it looks like they never even did that mm-hmm. but we could assume that it's been selling pretty well yeah but not well enough because that brings us to our second story ea confirms and this is in the same uh call um ea confirms star wars jedi survivor is coming to ps4 and xbox one the game's pc port was notoriously wobbly um which was also true. It launched pretty badly. Uh, this oh, is nice. from NME by Imogene Donovan. Um, Star Wars Jedi Survivor, originally only playable on PC, PlayStation 5, and Xbox Series X, is now on its way to PS4 and Xbox One. Electronic Arts CEO Andrew Wilson spoke in the publisher's most recent earnings call regarding the first financial quarter of 2024, revealing the new versions. Our team at Respawn proudly launched this title to critical acclaim and commercial success. Millions of players have already engaged with the game, making this one of the biggest events in the Star Wars galaxy this year. Um, That's this year, yes. Yeah. (laughs) Um, This congruence with Electronic Arts' previous... This is in congruence with Electronic Arts' previous statement that the game had reached a huge number of players within its first few weeks. Um, that being said, Star Wars Jedi Survivor required a significant amount of patching as it did not play satisfactorily on PC. Reviewers and players noticed with frame drops, game breaking bugs, and other high performance related op, uh, other performance related oversights. Um, yeah, Jedi Survivor is coming to Xbox One and PS4. That's cool. Um. Yeah. I mean, it, not if it's not doing well, I guess, but... <clears throat> well, so, it launched... I mean, the first game, that's what I was gonna say, like... This game launched pretty buggy. Mm-hmm. And the PC port was real bad. Right. Um, with bugs. But, like, the first game launched buggy, too. Yeah. And, like, that was, like, one of the big reasons why I fell off. That was one of the first, uh... One of the first series I'd done on the channel... Um, oh really yeah and like yeah that game would just bug out all the time mm. um 
enemies running at you in like full T pose, uh, <laughs> screen tearing, frames dropping, um, disappearing and reappearing enemies, like stuff like that. Nice. Yeah, there's a lot of weird things. That's and, weird, yeah. Um, I I never went back to it. I assume they patched a lot of that stuff out. So. Yeah, I'm sure. Be fine now. But... Um, but it's such a bummer that we're still in this spot where like games are still coming out shitty and even the sequels to games that had problems are still having the same problems as what they used to right um it's like we're not learning from it's mistakes like we haven't yeah we haven't figured it. that that's the whole point of the <laughs> next game is to be better than the first one yeah which especially when it comes to glitches and stuff yeah and i i never I've never heard anything about the game plays because the first couple of months of the game being out when people were reviewing it was like, oh yeah, I like it, but like I'm not going to finish it until they fix the bugs. Right. And it's like, well, everybody's on that page, then who right. finished this it's, game? Yeah, did <laughs> anyone just go ahead and commit? Right, is this game good or not, you know? Um, are they just talking? Oh, they're... They're talking before the show. I didn't even notice that they've just been talking the whole time. And skip ahead to the the EA show. Um, mm-hmm. That's Andrew Wilson, by the way. Um, this guy just made $60 million over the last like year or so. Mm-hmm. And we were talking about like uh, Miyamoto's wages compared to American CEO's wages. Oh, right. Means. It's one of the guys. That's, that's that guy. That's crazy. Um that's Peter Molyneux, which is even crazier. Um, <laughs> the, uh, yeah, it's a. Uh, I think it, I think it's definitely cool, but it feels like. Kind of feels like an act of desperation. Yeah. Like. Why are you gonna port it over? Like, why are you trudging uh. back? Like, why aren't you sticking to your guns about it being a, a current-gen title and, mm. and moving it over? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm excited for everyone to play games, though, so... Yeah. You know. Um, that's all of... No, that's not all of my EA stories. I got one more EA story for you. Um, this one is the opposite of uh, things going well, it seems like. Um, I don't think this is much to read into, but it is a story in itself. Apex Legends Season 17 did not meet EA's financial expectations. David, This is from David Walensky at GameSpot. Uh, EA aims to revive revenue in Season 18, which is set to launch August 8th. EA's latest earnings call... EA's latest earnings call will with investors revealed season 17 of apex legends fell short of financial expectations Hmm. despite the game maintaining an impressive 18 million active monthly users uh the new gameplay variations and monetization introduced in 17 failed to generate the anticipated revenue Hmm. um this article doesn't say on what they're going to do to fix um most things. Uh, one notable concern was the feedback from players regarding the rank system in 17, which led to decreasing engagement and spending. In response to this, season 18 set to launch August 8th will, will feature changes to the rank system in an effort to reinvigorate player interest and boost revenue. Um, hmm. Despite season 18 lacking a new legend, players can look forward to a rework of the existing character Revenant, also known as Revenant Reborn. So, it looks like they're not doing anything to fix it, but 17's not making it, or season 17 of the Apex isn't making as much money. Um, yeah. Season 17 was also what that would have been, what, the beginning of this year? The, like, January, February, March time? Yeah, thing? I believe so. So, like, of course it's not going to make as much money as, like, Christmas, Black Friday, right season beforehand, and they didn't do a champ, a new champion, right. And last season, I, 
I don't think they didn't even champion either. Um, they didn't. They're not doing one this year, and yeah, they didn't do right. one last season. Yeah, because I mean, it, it's one. They've already done a billion. And yeah. Now, you know, so they gotta like slow it down a minute. Right. You don't want a that many champions. Like you need. Speaking out of Apex, you know, there's only so much you can do. This... Oh yeah. Just Titanfall. Rest in peace, Titanfall. <laughs> it's God. Why make a new Titanfall? What are you doing? Right. What are you doing, dude? <laughs> Titanfall rips so hard. And it was like such a bummer because they were like going to do that Titanfall expansion or uh, the. Apex Legends Titans or Titan Legends or whatever they were going to call it. The, yeah. The single player campaign thing that they were doing for this. Oh, yeah. And they canceled it. Oh, dang. I forgot what that dude moved on to. The director of that. Man, we, I we wish that the could be a wall running character. Yeah. That would be great. It'd be so sick. Damn. Well... We will have new games to look forward to soon. Um, yeah. Pokemon Presents is happening. Yeah, Pinocchio's almost out. And Pinocchio too. Um, our next story is that Pokemon Presents announced for August 8th and there'll be plenty to show. Showcase update. Uh, the showcase should update the Scarlet and Violet DLC, Detective Pikachu Returns, the sequel game, and much more. I don't think we're going to get a next gen, of course, because Garland yeah. Violet just came out. Right. I do see a remake coming. Yeah. Um, whether it's let a new Let's Go, or if it's just a straight up, like, Brilliant Diamond, Shining Pearl situation remake. Right. Um, we haven't had a Let's Go since Pikachu and Eevee. It's been... I want to say that was 2018 is when that came out. Um, it's been five years. Yeah. So I could see Let's Go being what's next. We've had one remake. We've had two mainline generations. Yeah, two main generations, a remake, and... Uh... uh new spin-off series legends we've had like a whole bunch of new stuff right um so i wonder if they're gonna go back to let's go the rumor a while ago was that they're gonna remake the second game and do a let's go um i would like just a full-on remake of gold and silver like yeah. that yeah that'd be um, cool. instead of doing a let's go gold and silver uh but yeah, yeah, I, I'm excited for new Pokemon. That's going to be, of course, what we talk about next week. Right. Um, but since they announced it this week, we could talk about it this week being a new story that's happening next week. Yeah. Um, gotcha. Yeah. Another one of those things <laughs> that happened is that... Uh, where'd my new story go? What are you doing to me in Gadget? Uh... Devolver Digital will proudly delay a bunch of games in its next showcase. Um, De nice. Devolver Digital has cultivated a name for itself over the years, blah, 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 blah. Um, Devolver, to that end, it has announced a Devolver Delayed event, which it calls the first ever showcase celebrating games that are cour courageously moving into 2024. <laughs> um... You'll be able to watch the stream below at 11 a.m. Eastern on August 7th. Uh, this is the day before Pokemon. Uh, and then, yeah, now everybody's, like, in the rumor mill saying, like, I don't want my game delayed. What if it's this game? And right. Then, um, yeah, Devolver it's announced. It's going to be all the games. Yeah. So it could be any game that we just saw at their last event, which was, like, five games. Right. We decided... We don't want to pick and choose. All the games are going to be delayed. Yeah. It's only fair. Because they didn't announce much, I don't feel like they have a lot coming out this year. Yeah. Um, 
There was that Cosmic Wheel Sisterhood game that was like the tarot reading game that comes out in like next week. Um, uh, and then I want to say Gunbrella was slated for this year as well. Um, so I think that's also not too far away because they had a hands-on thing pretty recently. Yeah. Like a preview thing. Um, Talos Principle 2, though, or one mm. of those types of games. Like, I don't know if Talos Principle got a date. I don't remember if it did or not. It's probably one of those yeah. puzzlier things. Because um, Baby Steps was already in 2024, and that's like, that was the one that we both wanted the yeah. most out of all of those that they showed. Um, but. Who knows? Maybe they'll announce a new game. Uh, I yeah, think people cool. did some sleuthing and saw that the privatized video is really only three minutes long. So it's not really much of a showcase. So oh, we'll see. Okay. We'll see when next week comes around of what I got to talk to you about. It's just a short. <laughs> yeah. It could just be short. We're just delaying one game or it could just be three minutes of just a giant list of things that they're delaying. Right. Um, it's so long. It's easier just to... <laughs> Yeah. List it out. Devolver. Devolver's gonna devolver. Yeah. Pretty weird. Um, I got one last news story for you. Like I said, it was a short week. Um, and it's pretty, pretty fucking obvious, I think. Uh, Zelda and Mario boost Nintendo to record profit. Tears of the Kingdom has sold 18.51 million units, and the Super wow. Mario Bros. movie has grossed over a billion dollars at the box office, leading to a notably large sales and, and profits of the Japanese gaming giant. Wow. Um, that is the headline from The Verge by John Porter. Uh, let me go into a little bit of this. Net sales stood at four four 461.3 billion around 3.2 billion american dollars um a 50 percent increase versus last year while opening profit rose 82.4 percent to 185.4 billion yen which is around 1.3 billion dollars um bloomberg notes that it's the highest first quarter profit recorded by the company beating its previous 2020 high set in the first year of the pandemic just after the release of animal crossing um, they don't talk about it here, but also, like, the theme park opened this year. Oh, really? Yeah, the, the, the American one, at least. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure the Japanese one opened this year as well, but the American one definitely opened in March. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, Nintendo's making a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> And from all over. Yeah, from all over the place. And for the first time ever, Nintendo has this multimedia, like, well to choose from. Yeah. Um, like, they've done cartoons and stuff from the 80s, but this... Nintendo in the 80s was not Nintendo now. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, Nintendo was still very big in the 80s, and they, uh... They, they went under lawsuits for, like, uh people calling people like what's the way to put this where like people start using the term as like the normal thing where people started like everybody was just calling ga video games nintendo games even mm. though nintendo games were oh right I, more, yeah there's a word more, for that um, i can't think of what it kleenex is. being tissues right or yeah. whatever um Nintendo would fall into that into the 80s being so big they become the household name for video games mm. and all that stuff over the 90s as well. Um, 18.51 million units sold within the first two months for a video game. <clears throat> and that's not including digital sales. Right. That's only physical. That's insanity and to open a theme park within that same quarter right <laughs> two theme parks dude that's two nuts. theme parks yeah that's that's insane um I'm, I'm glad to see nintendo bouncing back because it seems like i mean bouncing back seems weird to say now but like 
It doesn't seem that long, even though the Wii U is like 10 years ago now. Um, it doesn't seem that long ago where we were talking about, is Nintendo going to stop doing like hardware? Yeah. And only focus on software and mm-hmm. start putting their software on other platforms. And yeah, that, that wasn't that long ago. Like the Wii U was not that long ago. No. The Wii U itself sold 14 million units in its lifetime. Wow. Zelda Breath of the Wild has sold more units than that whole hardware of the Wii U. That's crazy. Um, And that's, there's like 10 times over with that. It's like being the case with like Pokemon, Animal Crossing, Mario Kart, Mario Odyssey, Breath of the Wild. Like Mm. these 30 million unit sellers. Yeah. Like Animal Crossing is. 30 plus uh mario karts over 50 million units oh sold yeah now. easily yeah um that's insane like nobody does nobody does that no and rockstar does that but rockstar puts out a game at once every seven years yeah like every occasional <laughs> they're just like all right here's another one yeah like red dead didn't sell uh, red dead sold a lot red dead didn't sell 50 million units mm. you know Red Dead is probably in the 30 million unit range, so... Yeah. Yeah, but probably, but... Not a lot of games, like, get up to that point. That's a, that's a lot. And comparatively, like, Metroid Prime came out. Uh, yeah. The remaster came out. I think that was, like, 1.5 million units. That's like, crazy. Metroid Dread is the best-selling Metroid ever. Right. And it's, like, 3 point something million units. Mm. You know? Well, Pokemon, or Nintendo puts out a lot of, like, everyone can play type games. So it's just so much more. Right. Like, right. everyone in the house is going to buy the copy of the game instead of just, like... <coughs> yes, and yes. And then some games, they kind of force you to, to do it. Right, like, especially, like, Animal Crossing. <clears throat> like, right. One island per cartridge per Switch. Mm-hmm. Um, and they've they've done stuff like that. A lot, you know. Pokemon, you only get one save file per game, you know. Um, if you want to go on a new adventure or make a new character, you got to delete right, all of your You have to wipe shit. everything. Um, it's fucked up. That's super <laughs> fucked up. Especially, and there's no reason not to have multiple characters at this point. But, yeah, it's... it's nobody can do that, I don't think. Like Yeah, no. There's not a lot of companies that have that kind of like staying power that kind of name power to completely reverse a course multiple times like that right um yeah now they're too big to lose yeah the other part of the story that i was going to do is another headline is that uh, Nintendo Switch 2 rumors have started, oh. like, kicking around and stuff like that, yeah, where, that like, sense. people apparently have dev kits now. Um, VGC, uh, one of the guys from VGC was in Japan recently, and he was talking to a whole bunch of the leading third parties, hmm. and, uh, yeah, he said that a lot of them have dev kits now for the next hmm. hardware. Um, there's no confirmation of what it's going to be called or anything like that. Right. But it is confirmed that the next console will be a hybrid. It's going to be a Switch, but two eyes. <laughs> yeah, probably. It will probably be like that. Yeah. It will be something Nintendo, which naming conventions will have fucked them over last time. Like, yeah. if they don't get the name right, then it's not going to sell. You know? Like, what grandma is going to know what's the difference between a Wii and a Wii U? Right. Especially when they have the Wii, Wii Plus, the Wii U Plus, like... Yeah. These... Yeah, it's already hard enough with the Playstations <laughs> and the Xboxes. Yeah, but at least with, like, Playstation, it's numbered, you know? Right. And then you have a disc list and a disc version. That's true, yeah. Xbox is a little more ridiculous. Yeah, Xbox is... Xbox is the same thing, except they just have bad names, where it's the Series X and the Series S. Right. And it's like, what does say, S and X What mean? does that even mean? <laughs> I don't even know, honestly. I don't... It should be Xbox CD and no CD. 
<laughs> or something like that. Right, something. <laughs> but yeah. Just to spell it out. It's so strange. Just call it cool game system. Yeah. I don't know exactly what it is. Um Yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm I want a new switch so badly. There's so much that I want from a new switch. Um mm. I would love to you buy i i got rid of my switch i would love to buy a new switch but Mm -hmm. if i is there a reason to buy a new switch when there's the old switch or is there a reason to buy a new switch when there's a newer switch apparently on the way next year horizon yeah um and is that even a viable alternative when i could go get steam deck you know is the steam deck better at this point that's true i mean i don't i can't play I could technically play Mario on a Steam Deck. Like, the emulation software is there and runs perfectly. Right. But, legally, I'm not playing Mario on my Steam Deck. I'd only be playing on my Switch. Right. Um, so, when they will announce Switch 2, is a Mario Odyssey 2 going to be there? Mm. Is that what we're looking at? Because it's way too early for a Zelda. Right. No, yeah, for sure. And is Metroid Prime 4, maybe? Are we finally going to see that game? Yeah, that, that could be a thing. Yeah. yeah I mean, that got announced 2017, 2016. I think that was the year before the Switch. Maybe the year of the Switch. And they just it's just been... Yeah, media blackout. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, I uh, presumably they're working on it. Um, I believe it changed developer hands at one point. I think it also got scrapped and rebooted at oh. some point in development. Um, I don't have any of the details like on my phone right now, but uh, I believe that was the case. Uh, I can see them coming out of nowhere with that. Um, but I think they want to make a big deal out of that game, especially with how long it's been. Like, yeah. I, I, they're not going to do what they did to, like, Paper Mario, or, like, I think that was last year, maybe it was the year before that, but, like, they did their E3 event, and then, like, the week after, they put out a blog post with, like, a tiny little 30-second trailer. It was like, oh, yeah, new Paper Mario coming out in two weeks. Oh, and wow. I was like, oh, okay, well, that yeah. would have been cool. That would have been great to see yeah. the thing. Yeah. Um, wow. So, so what are we... I, I, I don't think Metroid Prime 4 would be like that. But No, we would, we would hope not. Nintendo's just weird like that sometimes, you know? Yeah. Kind um, of trolly. That's all I have for this week, though, the Patrick. I don't yeah. have any games that I played. I didn't play anything, which sucks. I got some new games. Uh, yeah. I bought Homebody, so I want to play Homebody. Yeah, that's the, cool. The Game Grumps horror game. I got Ninja Blade. Okay. Which is a From Software joint that's supposed to be middling, but... It's from software, so I gotta nice. try it. Right. And then I got The Godfather of the, the Game. The Godfather of the Game. This wow. is a licensed game based off the movie. Is it just basically just the movie in game form? I think so. I think it's like the first movie, pretty much. Because the second one's not like the second movie at all. Huh. Um, but this game, I remember being so fucking dope. Oh, you played it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, back when it came out and like, 2007 or nice. whatever um as a kids kid with Crohn's disease in the hospital I played through that game like in my hospital bed wow um fucking you get piano wire and fucking go up behind people and string their neck That's and then you have tommy guns and stuff they're pretty chunky um, a lot of cocaine I know that's Scarface. That's, that's Scarface, yeah. And the second one's more like Scarface. The second one's like either early 80s, late 70s, Miami, Florida. Oh, really? Um, yeah. And this this game is definitely New York. Like, oh, right, yeah. Gross. Or New Jersey. Wherever the Godfather takes place. I yeah. think it's New York. That would make sense. Pretty Queens. Sure. Pretty sure, yeah. Um, yeah. And then... uh. Did I get anything else? I don't know if I got those 007 games this week or last week, but I got Asia Under Fire and Everything and Nothing. Um, Those are both really good James Bond games. Yeah. 
Um, yeah. I'm all out, Patrick. I'm all out of things. Yeah, I don't think... I didn't really play anything either. <clears throat> I mean, I played some more Dreamlight Valley. Yeah. I made it crash a few times because I've just been like... <laughs> Digging hella crops. Yeah, just can't load it. <laughs> and it's just like not able to keep up with the amount of <laughs> crops I put out. Processing all of these plants. Loading. Right, all at once, yeah. <laughs> this is funny. But I'm just trying to like buy all the stuff. Yeah. And the only way to do it is with crops. And right now I'm doing carrots, which are like, it's like a, you like you buy them for like 10 but you sell them for 70 or something oh yeah so like great <laughs> yeah that's, great. that sounds fucking best fantastic. in the game so far <laughs> right which is crazy because there's this part where you can ask scrooge mcduck advice like financial advice like hey what would you suggest buying yeah. and he's like it's uh it's okra he, he always tells you okra Right? So I was like, oh shit, like, once I unlock okra, I'm gonna be rolling in it. Right. And then I unlock okra, and it's like, I'm pretty sure it's more to buy the seeds. Like, they're worthless. They have no. Yeah. Nothing. And I'm like, wow. So if That's why he wants you to buy it. Yeah. He wants to make the profit off He's you. trying to get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. I was so mad when I found out because I was so excited. I was like, oh, I found the stand that sold the okra. Maybe that's why nobody's growing okra around there. Is be- and he really likes fried okra that's or something like is. that. Yeah, maybe. He's I mean, like, I'll just make I him just some okra. One, he doesn't <laughs> yeah. have to cheat me. But right now, the, the Dale's carrots. <laughs> and not only, does, not only do you make so much more back, yeah. but they grow in like 15 minutes real time. Oh, okay. Which is like nothing. Yeah. Right, and that's like... Go do a couple of quests. It's practically... It's one of the fastest plants, too, other than like... There's a couple that are a little faster, but they don't make nothing. Like wheat grows in like a minute, but it sells for like two coins. It's like, I'm not going to do that. You buy it for one, you sell it for two. Great profit, but like way too small. Yeah, super early game. Right, yeah. Yeah. That was like your first plant or whatever. But carrots, man, I just plant like a hundred of them at a time. Like you said, I go do a mission or two. Yeah. And then on top of that, you can have um, you can have like one character like follow you or whatever. And if you're doing a certain task, I mean, there's like five different things you could be doing. And it, like fishing or mining or planting. If you're doing one of those, they'll get experience along with you if they're following you okay and then if they're you can um choose for them to be skilled in one of those things and so then if you're doing that in their skill then they'll get like three times as much experience okay so i just make everyone like a plant person yeah and then i go out and just do like a hundred carrots you know and then just have them just and they all tend to level up these sh- shits really quick and then they like throw extra carrots too which is oh. like another bonus so yeah. like if you give them if you get them like level 10 plant forger whatever whatever it's called right. planter uh they're throwing out all sorts of extra stuff so like a thousand you can get you know you'll do- <laughs> like almost double sometimes right an insane carrot farm but on but on top of that, when they do throw it all out, usually the game freezes for a minute because it's just like <laughs> hella flying carrots and yeah. stuff, and just oh my gosh, trying to spawn all these PNGs. It does not keep up. Yeah, it's rough. <laughs> it's funny. It's rough, but I'm I'm. Yeah, my main goal right now is just to buy everything you can, and oh, and I got the we the first week of the dream snaps is done the, the newest thing they oh, added yeah, yeah, so yeah. now you can earn moon stones or whatever which is like the currency to buy like usually you'd have to spend real money on yeah it's another way to get it without having to do that nice uh so you like take it they have like an outfit and a environment photo you have to take and it like certain themes and yeah. then everyone votes i think right, i might have said right. this last week yeah uh, but the first week came out, I got like 500 moonstones. Oh, I was like, nice. Hell yeah. 
Yeah, that's and then like fucking rules. Uh, like a new outfit or whatever. It was cool. The outfit was a dress, and it's like, can we get some like? I mean, I I I wear I usually just wear the newest thing that I win, just right. so like I'm always wearing something different and silly. Yeah, but it's like I'm not I'm not a chick. Right. Like you think. You like can't. some people would care. They'd be like, Well, I don't want to fucking dress, you know. Right. But either way, it was cool. Uh, so can now you I'm still wear it though? Doing as a I can still wear it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. And that's fine. Totally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's just like, you know, I feel like someone especially like a kid or something, you yeah. know, being like a little boy, he's gonna be like, Oh dress he's gonna be mad and throw the switch remote. <laughs> you know. Yeah, but fuck that kid. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well not Learn to be accepting, child. Yeah, child out there. (laughs) Clothes don't have gender. (laughs) It's true. Uh, But other than that, I've just been busy elsewhere. I don't know. I've done too much gaming besides that. Yeah, same with me. Like... Duolingo, does that count? Is that a game? I downloaded that on my phone recently. No, that's pretty cool. I tried to... I'm trying to pick up a little extra Spanish for work. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Yeah, I... I That's kind of a game. There's little mini games in there. Right. (laughs) I I know they they do do some some things. Uh, Duolingo is nice because it teaches you a lot of, like, keywords and stuff like that. But what I've heard with Duolingo is that it doesn't teach you, like, cadence Mm. and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, Yeah, definitely. So you'll definitely... I would be building on top of that with, like, conversations and stuff. Yeah, there's there's a couple people... That I've, like, told at my job, like, hey, you know, try to only speak to me in Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, that works. YouTube videos or whatever. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Put Spanish subtitles on English. Watch things in Spanish with English subtitles. That kind of thing. Um, Yeah, that's pretty dope, though. I've I've wanted to pick up a new language forever. Yeah. Um, And then I'm just lazy as hell. It's tough. I do. Especially I'd... if you don't have, like, someone to talk to with it or something. Right. It's like you, you're not <laughs> able to, like, constantly use it and train yourself with it. Right. And this is the most Which social interaction harder. I get or, in a, yeah. like, all week. Right. And this is <laughs> this is barely English sometimes. So yeah. It's like <laughs> yeah, as I mumble through an article trying to figure out numbers. Trying to read what they're even writing. That was a... That word had... Continuing... There were so many, yeah, so many letters. <laughs> Who's spell checking? Let me, hire me to spell check your articles. Yeah. Cause... I mean, they're Irish, so I mean. Well, oh, maybe that was that. spelled correctly. Maybe they throw the extra A in there. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Irish, uh, the Irish people might be doing things they weird They like their there. vowels. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, I, w- that's a, I wish I could speak, like, old Irish or something like that. Mm. Like, languages like that, too. Like, that all is super dope to me. Um, yeah, man. I guess that's where I... Where I'm gonna... Do you want to leave it here? I don't have anything. I, I don't... <laughs> I didn't play anything else. I don't really have anything... Yeah. I think I'm going to play. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna play, like, that Pinocchio game eventually... Right, Liza P. I still have to Now that I know that Darkwood is on Game Pass, I'll probably give that a shot. Darkwood's real good. You should check that out, definitely. Yeah, for sure. Cool. Um, yeah, Darkwood's on Game Pass. Liza P is coming to Game Pass as well. Yep. Um, yeah, that's, what, in a week or two? No, that's September. That's September. Yeah, yeah, September. Um, September 20 something. 24th. Um,. But Armored Core is soon. Armored Core is in like a week or two. Oh, really? Yeah, it's August 20-something. Oh, okay. Um, and then Starfields after that. That's September 6th. That's cool. I never played a Starfield game, then. You never played any of the Elder Scrolls or Fallout or anything? Oh, well, yeah, I guess I played like those, but not like... Starfield is the first one. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. It's oh. made by all of the Well, see, Fallout. that's how little I know. I, <laughs> yeah. I played, I've literally played, like, Skyrim and Fallout, the newest Fallout. Yeah, so Starfield's gonna be, like, Fallout in space. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Yeah. That'd be cool. 
That I'm would be cool. There's a lot of cool, good games coming out, and I gotta get next gen consoles so I can play them all. Yeah, it's starting to get. It's getting there. Yeah. Yeah, you can't hold it off any longer. We're almost it's to like, that point, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, but who knows? Maybe maybe things don't sell well enough and we get more stories from like EA or whatever where they're like, oh, we're going to put it all on PS4. <laughs> yeah, right? Reason. That'd be crazy. I don't know. It, it is strange that we're still doing this. Like, what, 2020 is when we're almost four years in? Yeah. I mean, you just, at this point, they've just sold so many of everything. It's like, why not, I guess? Yeah, or, I mean, the consoles, have, from what we know, is that the, the hardware has been selling well. Yeah. Um. But it still seems like we're pretty behind. I'm sure they have. They want to be. They probably have some sort of, <coughs> like, number. Like, all right, when we hit this minimum yeah. or whatever... Or when this minimum becomes the maximum number of users will finally be like... Yeah. We're done. Because I know PS5, they just announced that it hit 40 million units. Hmm. Um, which, that's... I mean, that's a, that's a good chunk, but in three years, that's that's a long time mm-hmm. for, for 50 million. Um, but also because of... Uh, supply and stuff like that during covid and like all of that stuff like right it's been a shit show since the beginning yeah it had a rough start um so i think we'll still be that there was a lot of rumblings this week about like pro consoles as well like are we gonna get a pro console or about oh, that right. time where yeah. we would start talking about that or are they just gonna be like hey this last few years have been kind of weird but we're just gonna continue on like nothing happened right um because games aren't running at 60 frames a second like mm-hmm. they promised you know like the 4k 60 dream isn't happening because right. games are too hard to make <laughs> um and, you know, people who don't make games are going to be like, well, uh, this old GameCube game runs 60 frames, but this game doesn't, and it's from 2023 and right. whatever. But, like, games are so much bigger now. Yeah, and um, yeah, you're more t- detailed. and Right, and layered. different engines. Yeah. Like, Unreal Engine 5 versus, like, Unreal Engine 3 or yeah, whatever. Exactly, like that. which is huge um, difference. Yeah. Yeah, it'll be... It'll be interesting to see where we go from here. But, I, I guess we'll leave it there. Um, because I've said like six times. I'm like, yeah, hey, I mean, you know. You got anything else? <laughs> they're not all long ones. No, no. And th- this next week will be a little, well, a lot more to talk about next week, for sure. Yeah. Um, I knew this was going to be a shorter week, but might as well. Just do a shorter episode to get it to get it done. Talk about the little things, and then mm-hmm. I don't really have any predictions for Pokemon or anything. Just because we know a lot of things. The one thing that I would want is that I would like a new Gold and Silver remake. Um, yeah, but I don't see that in the cards. Who knows? Who knows, man. I could see them doing the on the NSO Nintendo Switch online. Mm. Uh, how they have the Game Boy emulators. I could see them bringing over maybe like at least red, blue, and yellow. Yeah. Um, but if they were like we're bringing all of them, that would be a huge deal. Or if it was like, hey, we're just at we're porting all of them to Switch, That'd and you can cool. buy them piecemeal. Wow. That'd be cool. That would be really cool. They did that for the 3DS, um, and they weren't super... I want to say they're like 10 bucks a piece. Wow. Um, and it's not bad at all. No, no, um, no. Especially, I think, a red and blue cart's like 50 or 60 bucks at least. Right. And then, I mean, you get in the more expensive ones, like black and white too, it's like $290 now or something like wow. that. That's crazy. That's a DS game. Yeah. So like we're in the we're in the phase of that where like 
these games need to be they need to come somewhere else like right yeah there's no feasible way to buy these games or play these games right yeah because than... you have to have the the correct <laughs> system with it too which is like right you, you know, that's how easy that is the hardware is not cheap it's not super expensive like a game was not much or a ds isn't much but then you got to buy the software the yeah. only way to buy that software for those consoles is the the cartridge. Those cartridges are so much money. Right. Um, and like I love expensive games. Don't get me wrong. I don't mind paying for expensive games. Um, but you can't convince a mom with her ten year old to spend two hundred ninety dollars right. on, on any, Pokemon yeah, White Two for sure. <laughs> you know. And it would sell fine if it was on the Switch. Like, yeah. it would be fine. Um, I don't know. Yeah, that's where we're going to leave it today. Um, next week will be... We'll have Pokemon news. I don't know. Uh, we'll also have Devolver news. There might be something else happening next week. I don't know. I, August is going to start getting pretty heavy with shit. I yeah. think we're we're just coming out of the lull. Oh yeah. Um after after the Summer Games Fest barrage of announcements, we're going to get a whole bunch of duet announcements and then video games are going to start punching us in the face with right. releases. Yeah, all the holidays um, and stuff. Baldur's Gate 3 did release this week, um and that's doing pretty well. Uh I don't know, I'll bring reviews up next week when people start putting out numbers and stuff like that. Um, yeah. That's, that's it. That's all I got. Um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Patrick, for another one. Yeah, it's, another one. It's always fun. I love doing this. Um, that being said, guys, I'm Ben. And this is Patrick. It's been the praise to run. It's been fun, guys. It's been real. Yeah. Peace out. Yeah. Get out of here.